Rasmus Hoyland must do what six other Manchester United players have failed to do. Man UTD made Rasmus Hoyland the seventh most expensive player in their history in the summer and he has made a bright start to life at Old Trafford. Manchester United took a gamble on potential when signing Rasmus Hoyland for £72 million this summer, but such is the absence of sure-fire strikers on the market it still makes the 20-year-old Dane one of the most expensive signings in the club's history. Had United followed Eric Ten Hag's wishes of signing Harry Kane then they would probably have busted their transfer record, the £89 million spent on Paul Pogba, but even without that tag, there is pressure on Hoyland's shoulders. Leading the line for United always comes with responsibility, no matter how much you cost, but Hoyland has embraced it so far. His debut at the Emirates was full of potential and the way he celebrated his first goal for the club at the Allianz Arena last week showed a player who is up for the fight. When Ten Hag was asked to describe the youngster's mentality after the deal was done, he opted for the word brave and you can see why. He likes Hoyland's personality and despite his youthfulness and his status as a new arrival, he is already a dominant presence at Carrington. But the former Atalanta striker is fighting against the weight of history as well as the expectations to score 20-plus goals a season for United. In terms of Euros, he is the seventh most expensive signing United have made, or the sixth for fees in British pounds. Either way, a glimpse at those above him makes for pretty grim reading. Let's start with the three that have left the club. Pogba, Romelu Lukaku and Angel Di Maria all feature on that list. Lukaku and Di Maria are subject to jeers when they return to Old Trafford now and if Pogba does ever return, he will almost certainly get the same treatment. Pogba never turned into the player United expected. He was signed to lead a new generation but lacked the leadership skills to do so and by the end could barely hold his own place down in the team. There were flashes of brilliance under Jose Mourinho and Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, but never the sustained excellence that was expected. His unedifying attempts to engineer a departure from 2019 onwards, along with his agent Mino Raiola, also reflected poorly on him. At least Pogba lasted six seasons. Lukaku managed two years after his £75 million move and took parting shots at the club when he moved to Inter Milan. Di Maria, a 2014 signing whose £59.7 meters fee was worth €75 million Euros at the time, lasted one disastrous season before heading to Paris. Three of the players above Hoyland on the list are still at Old Trafford. Two of them are currently unavailable for selection and one is competing for the role of fourth-choice centre back with a 35-year-old. That's all the evidence you need to know that a big fee is no guarantee of success at United. Anthony might yet turn his own fortunes around. He is only 23 and although there hasn't been anywhere near enough quality to justify an £85.5 million price tag, he retains the faith of Ten Hag and when available for selection remains the first choice right winger. In terms of this list, that probably makes him the success story for now. United paid £80 million to sign Harry Maguire four years ago and accepted a £30 million bid to sell him this summer, with the 30-year-old rejecting the move to West Ham. His only start this season came in the Carabao Cup on Tuesday night and he has become a figure of fun during his time at the club. Then there is Jadon Sancho, currently training on his own after accusing Ten Hag of making him a scapegoat and not telling the truth when he said his absence from the squad for a Premier League game at Arsenal was due to his training performances. It's hard to envisage any way back for the £73 million winger. It's a remarkable record really, but not all hope is lost. Lissandro Martinez, Casemiro and Bruno Fernandes are significant signings who have managed to impress at Old Trafford. Hoyland carries more risk than that trio, given his relative lack of exposure at the very highest level, but United scouts liked what they saw and Ten Hag believes he can turn him into a gem. If he achieves that then maybe the tide is turning when it comes to the most expensive signings in United's history.